This is what a quarter life crisis looks like. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Hey guys, it's Natalie, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing an honest haul and review video of some slimes I purchased recently. Some of these I got on Black Friday, and some of them I got before Black Friday. Either way, my money's gone. So, I'm going to be filming this video for you guys. There's probably going to be four other ones like this coming out very soon because I bought a lot of slimes on Black Friday because I have no self-control. And so, yeah. Long story short, I'm on a buying ban until Slime Bash Daytona. So, I'm going to be showing you guys some slimes. I got some slimes from Slime Obsidian, Slime Fantasies, Snoop Slimes, a bunch of good people. So, we are going to get into the slimes. Um, for those of you who haven't watched my um, slime haul and review videos before, I am honest in them. Regardless of the slime shop's reputation, things like that, because I don't like to lie. <laughs> so, I'm going to be telling you guys my honest opinion. Um, don't come for me. If you say rude things in the comments, you will be blocked, reported, deleted, deleted. Um, hate equals blocked, so I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna get into this video. Also, I'm posting another video very soon, um, where I review slimes that I got from the Bomb Slime, and I'm probably also going to be wearing the same thing because I'm filming it in the same day because I'm lazy and I'm trying to get everything done in one night. So, um, if I look the same as I do right now in another video coming soon, it's because I'm lazy and I'm trying to get things done. So, I'll stop talking. This intro is a million miles long, so let's just get into the video. So, also, another thing, I've been getting an influx of comments of people complaining about how much I say, um, and that's because I have anxiety. I'm not good at voiceovers. I'm not good at talking for, like, an extended amount of time. Like, it's a miracle that I can do these videos without panicking. Um... So yeah, I'm um gonna say um as um many um times as I um want. Because um it's my YouTube channel, sisters, and if you don't like it, you can skedaddle. The exit button is right there, sister. <laughs> So the first person I ordered from is Slime Fantasies, and I've been wanting to order from them for a while now, um, and I've just been ogling over their slimes on Instagram, so I finally decided to order from them, and it came in a beautiful holographic bubble mailer. Um, shipping was $3.67 for one slime, which is not bad at all. It's actually an amazing price for shipping. Um, it came super fast, and it came with the slime, and then this little baggie, which had a super professionally done slime care sheet that was extremely thorough and detailed. And it also came with some candy, which unfortunately, I don't know what happened to it after I filmed this video, but I'm sure it would have been tasty. It was some saltwater taffy and like this little like rainbow candy. Um, and it also came with a little activator baggie that was really cute as well. And it was so nicely packaged, nothing cracked or leaked, it was bubble wrapped, it was protected, it was safe, it was good. Um, so if you can't already tell, I ordered their pizza dough slime in a 6 ounce size, and it was $12. So, um, this slime, I'm not too keen on the scent, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it in any way, it literally smells like yeasty pizza dough. Um, I'm just not as big of a fan as the scent of the scent as I thought I would be. Um, and I have a lot of respect for this slime though because savory scents are really hard to nail and it smells exactly like yeasty pizza dough. So I would definitely give this slime a 9 out of 10. I also really enjoyed the texture because I've never touched a cloud cream cloud dough texture before. So I really enjoyed playing with this one and I still play with it on a daily basis and to be honest, the scent is kind of growing on me a little bit. So yeah, that is pizza dough from Slime Fantasies. <clears throat> okay, sorry. I just choked on a tortilla chip. But anyways, um, the next person I ordered from is Snoop Slimes, and I've been wanting to order from her forever because, I mean, who hasn't? And it came in a bubble mailer, and these are the same exact ones that I use. So they came with, the slime came with, a little baggie, and it had a slime care sheet, business card, some candy, some borax, the usual, and shipping was, let me check... Shipping was 318, which is a great price for shipping. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to stop saying um so much since you guys keep coming for me in the comments, so sorry if I stutter. Okay, sorry the lighting just changed also because I filmed this on two different days in two different locations. So, sorry about that. So the slime I ordered is Sprite Slush, and this slime smells so good. I love fruity slimes, and it smells exactly like Sprite. Lemon limey, delicious, and it's super sizzly and amazing and crunchy. Um, it was $13, which is an excellent price, and it is so crunchy, and the only thing that I have to say about this slime that is bad is that it has a bead fallout, and it has a lot of bead fallout. Like, I'll insert a clip of it right here, but the first time I played with this slime, I literally got beads all over my floor, and it was a nightmare. And I just feel like there was a larger bead ratio to slime ratio, and I feel like that was the issue. But other than that, I really love this slime. It smells so good. It is so crunchy, and it is amazing for just bubble pops and everything. Like, I love it so much. But it just has a lot of bead fallout, which would be my only complaint. So overall, I would give this package a 9 out of a 10, taking off one point for the bead fallout. But other than that, I really love this. So the next person I ordered from is the Rosy Peach, and I heard, like me, she's fairly new to slime and we're also similar in age, so I wanted to support a small business sister. So I ordered slime from her, and it came in a really cute pink bubble mailer, and it came bubble wrapped, nothing cracked, spilled, or leaked, and it came with a little extras baggie, which came with a little note that said, if you were a vegetable, you'd be a cucumber, which was really cute. And it also had a custom stamp on it. I love her logo and everything. It's just so cute. And it came with a borax baggie, a business card, and some really good candy, which was very yummy. Um, so the first thing I'm going to say about the slime um, is that it came in this little box. And to be fair, this box is adorable. And it's unique. It's custom to her shop. I've never seen a shop with boxes like this. But here's the thing. I think it's bad for the environment and I think a lot of people will end up throwing this box away and although it is really cute and everything like that, I just feel like a lot of people will throw it away because no one's going to want to go through putting the slime in and out of the box just to play with it and I feel like a lot of people will just throw it away so I feel like it's kind of a waste of materials but that's just my personal opinion but I do really like the idea of it. Um, the slime I ordered is Paranormal Popcorn, and I got it in a 6-ounce size, and again, the packaging on this is really cute. I love the labels, the designs, everything is so cute. Um, and this slime is described as a semi-floam with marshmallow beads and foam beads scented like kettle corn, and it is just that. It smells exactly like kettle corn. I love the scent on this one. I can't stop sniffing it, and I love playing with this. The texture is so fun, and it just makes all these, like amazing sounds. I can't really describe it, but I really like the ASMR sounds that the slime makes. It's really weird, I know. Um, but yeah, I really liked this slime. Um, the only thing that I don't really like about this slime package is that shipping was $8.30 for one slime, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. Um, and there wasn't really an option to do first class shipping, which is only a few dollars for one slime in general. And the only option was for priority mail shipping, which was, you know, $8.30, which I think is a little bit overboard, so maybe I would consider putting the option for first class there if you're able to do that, um, because it can kind of be a deterrent for people who don't want to pay that much for shipping, but I didn't really mind. Overall, I would give this slime package an 8 out of a 10. I really love this slime so much, but I do think that the box is a waste of materials and that, that shipping was a little bit pricey, but other than that, I really love this slime and I can't put it down. Okay, so two things that really surprised me and added a few brownie points was that the slime is slightly inflating, which I thought was really cool, and also her labels are slime proof, which I thought was also really cool. So, yeah, I just thought that was worth mentioning. So the next person I ordered from is Slime Obsidian, and I was so freaking excited about this because he is so hard to get slimes from because he sells out so fast, and all of his slimes look so amazing, so I totally understand why he sells out so fast. Um, and I got churro cream, and the only reason I got a slime from him was because I was able to. 
Like, I've tried to order her from him before, but slimes always get taken from my cart, but he had an unlimited amount of churro cream for the first 10 minutes of his Black Friday restock, so I was able to snatch, and I was so excited about that. Um, and this came super fast, might I add. Um, it's literally Friday right now, so it came in like a week, literally. Um, and it came with borax and candy and a cute business card, and this thing was just so well packaged and professional. And I also love these containers. Um, I think this is the same one that Slime OG has. I really just like these a lot. Um, can we look at the gloss on this, please? Thank you. Goodbye. I'm deceased. Anyways, I got $2.09 off of my order because I used his um, discount code that was active for the first 10 minutes of the restock. So I got a pretty good deal on it. The slime itself was $13.99, but after the discount, it was $11.90. Um, shipping was $4.38, which I think is amazing, and I had to pay a little bit of tax on it since we do live in the same state, um, but other than that, I really just, I love this slime, it's so amazing, 10 out of a 10, um, it was an 8 ounce for $14, and that was before the discount, can you believe that? That is an amazing price for an 8 ounce slime, I'm so blown away, um, this slime smells so good, um, it's not as, um, heavily scented as I would like it to be, but it still smells pretty bomb. Um, I just really liked this slime, um, and it's just so thick and glossy and amazing, and I'm gonna go play with it right now. So, yeah, this slime package was a 10 out of a 10. Okay, I've tried to do this outro, like, six times now, but I hate myself, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload, and thank you for watching. I had so much fun filming this. Expect six more videos just like this coming out very soon because I have no self-control and now I have no money either. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day, my favorite hedgehogs.